take time to rewind to think about all the good times. Make a note to close the door, lock up, hit the lights, let's go. We're on our way to our new apartment right now. We're dropping off a load of stuff. <laughs> We're just trying to make the moving day easier. And then we need to go to Sanuke because we ordered some stuff at Sanuke. And we also ordered some stuff at Ikea last night, which is being delivered on Saturday. You guys, <laughs> we, we don't officially move in until the 10th. Today is the 4th, but the landlady said we could come back and I mean, she just said we could come back whenever, like, we have the keys. She did tell us that she wanted to do some repairs, but we thought that she wanted to do them, like, while we were living there. So we show up to the apartment to drop off our backpacks before we go to Sanuke. And we open the door and there's someone inside. It was, like, a workman. He was, like, obviously, like, who are you? So we were trying to just explain. We're the new tenants. We're just dropping off our stuff. Now we're on this mission to go to Sanuke, but the bus was gonna take too long and the walk is the same amount of time. Wow, look at these apartments though. These apartments are so cool. Alex, why does it always seem like we're wandering around side streets and alleyways lost in the city of Vilnius? Whose fault is that? Mine or yours? It's yours. <laughs> no, we're just... The freaking blind leading the blind. Oh, so our landlord just texted Alex and she was like, it's fine. He's fixing the floors and doing some painting. We made it. First suitcase is done and that's pretty much all of our clothes. All of my shoes are already at the other place. We just have the clothes we're wearing for the next two days and yeah, that's done. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is moving day. We're gonna get a city B, which is just like a car sharing service here. like. A rental car basically but the biggest cars that they have that are automatic are basically like SUVs so we have to get an SUV I've driven like really big moving trucks in the US before and they were all automatic so everything is pretty much like packed up this is ours so we have to move that um, and then the TV stand is also ours so we have to move that too and the litter box Alex thinks that this is gonna take six trips back and forth to the new place, but I'm hoping it's like four. <laughs> Thankfully, like it's not that far of a drive away. So yeah, this is gonna be both of our first times ever driving in a foreign country. So we're both kind of like freaked out about driving. And also neither of us have ever driven in the snow before. Alex grew up in Maine. He moved away from Maine before he learned how to drive. The roads here are plowed and so I don't think it should be a problem. I think the hardest thing is gonna be getting in and out of our driveway here. Hey guys, okay, we made it to the apartment. Um, driving was like mildly horrifying. And then getting out of our old apartment parking lot was horrible. It's like so slippery. And then getting into this apartment parking lot like there's not really anywhere to park so I'm sitting in the car at the end of the parking lot Alex is running stuff in do you see that I'm gonna have to like back out of here but it's like slippery and yeah it's just like scary so yeah like there's no I can't like turn around you guys this is scary I don't know what I'm doing I hope Alex is able to get all this stuff in and out and like 
three trips. I feel bad I can't help him, but I need to stay with the car because we're not in a parking spot. But if someone is trying to get out behind me, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is stressful. And also like, I don't know where the speed limit signs are. I don't know if I'm going too fast, too slow. I don't know what like kilometers an hour I'm supposed to be driving. This is horrible. Also, I have two masks on. I have a medical mask and a cloth mask because apparently like that's what you're supposed to do now. Okay, he's back. mine that's yours oh my gosh this is like hefty what is this place that we got uh, Alice studio. Alice studio. Alice studio. these are good fries look guys we have American TV this is the food network we're watching chopped but we have cable and there's like lots of really good channels but we've just had food network on all day mine is just like a fried cheddar block Alex! <laughs> oh my gosh! It was so cheap, I didn't think it was gonna be that big. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get fat. But we have been moving all day, so. Good morning, guys. I just got done with a few of my first classes in my new office. So we set it up a little bit yesterday. This rug was supposed to be yellow and it's kind of brown. Also, this room is kind of echoey. We like moved this in from the bedroom, which here, pull it out. I was thinking this must be like a children's desk, but here, wait, let me see inside. This is just like an empty hole. So if you know what this is supposed to be for, let me know. I think it's supposed to be a desk though. It's to punish young children. <laughs> you put them inside. We need to put something else in here so it's not so echoey. You should like get one of those like huge Velcro walls, like Velcro like boards, and then like a Velcro shirt, and then when you're really <laughs> frustrated, you can like throw your shirt <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, like there was those teen clubs you could go to, and they had one of those there. Did you have that like teen clubs? I never went to it, but my friends did. There was like dancing, but then there was also like games and stuff. I think it was just supposed to be like, this is a fun place where your kid's not gonna be getting into trouble. But I think kids would like be getting into trouble there. Cause like people would like sneak off to like kiss and stuff. <laughs> Alex has class at 11. I have another class at 10. And then right now it's nine. So we're gonna try to build this Ikea furniture in 50 minutes, 50 minutes, not 15. That would, <laughs> we could not do that. <laughs> from Ikea's website, but they were like half the cost of every other blackout curtains. And I think it's because they're like this very strange material. <laughs> um, I don't know, they're, they're just like really thin. You can cut these curtains and because this material is weird, it said you don't have to sew them. So that's what we're gonna do now. But I feel like if it's not perfectly straight, it's gonna look really bad. Okay, 
yeah, you really, like, it doesn't fray. Look how dark they are. So nice. We started working on the bathroom. I scrubbed out the bathtub. It was clean, but, you know, just to be sure that everything is really clean. So we have this vanity here in the bathroom and it has all these drawers, but it's a bit old. Like you can see some of the drawers, like just the paint is coming up a little bit. So instead of like spending money on contact paper, we decided to use the Ikea box, cut it up and instead of like wasting money on contact paper and contact paper is kind of wasteful anyway look how much storage space there is kind of crazy this mirror is made for tall lithuanian people and not for me and alex <laughs> i see him i come across i feel like probably as a short person but i'm curious how tall do y'all think me and alex are because i watched this youtuber and me and Alex both thought he was like 5'6". And then he said in a video that he was 6'2". And we were like, what? So I'm curious, how tall do y'all think me and Alex are? If you don't know us in real life. <laughs> I've kind of just come to the realization that, you know, by filming all of this moving in, I'm not really going to be able to hide what the apartment looks like, but I'm still going to do like an official apartment tour so I can show y'all everything in detail. That's the washing machine, isn't that cute? Look at her, dude. She's obsessed with this sofa. So we're kind of trying to decide like what of the landlord stuff we're not gonna use and we're gonna take it and put it in that box. We also wanted to change these curtains because the way that it's put on here, you can't open them all the way. And we tried to change them, but the little screws up there are like impossible to do. So these are just gonna be here for now, but I wish we could open it. Uh, this cactus came with the apartment. I'm not really sure where we're gonna put that or I didn't sign up to take care of this. Oh, our microwave, by the way, look at that. It fits perfectly. Uh, we got to use the oven to reheat our leftovers from dinner last night, which by the way, that place, what was it called? Alice Studia. It was really good, but we got way too much food. Like we both had a burger, we both had french fries, and then we also had nachos and we totally did not need to also order nachos, but it was all really good, but we did not finish. I didn't even finish my burger. I didn't eat any of my fries. We ate like half the nachos. It was a lot, so definitely worth it. This is the extra material I cut off from the curtains. Okay, remember, I don't have a sewing machine here, but I'm going to try to make little pillowcases to put these pillows in so we can put them on the bed because the bed is yellow and the curtains are blue and I don't really feel like it matches that well. These were just the curtains that were on sale. So I feel like though, if I made pillows out of those curtains and put them on the bed, it could kind of like tie the room in together. This is another plant that we have accumulated, but this is just kind of like a hole to nowhere. Like this doesn't open. I don't really know what I could put in there. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. Stuff is everywhere. I think this is what I'm gonna try to do right now is just get all this stuff put away because I think that will be pretty easy to do. I hung up some hooks for towels and for my robe. You know what we should do right now? Drink some water. So our old apartment, where's my phone? This alarm that signifies 10 minutes till the beginning of class, I hate it. It's a horrible little song. It fills me with dread. <laughs> but okay, if you don't know, 
in our old apartment, we had electric radiators, which are expensive. So at night we would turn on our bedroom radiator, but we would turn off the living room radiator just to save money. And you know, we would just close the bedroom door and it was fine. But when you would wake up in the morning to go to the bathroom or to, and to make coffee, it was just so horribly freezing in the living room. But like, there's no point in heating a room that you're not in if you're having to pay for it. But in this apartment, we have central heating, which this is a thing that I kind of want to talk about because this would be absolutely insane to Americans. But basically like we don't have control of our heaters. So the heaters are on all the time in the winter. When our heating gets turned on and off at the end of winter, that's decided by the government, which I feel like for Americans, um, it's just kind of crazy that the government decides that. Like that seems absolutely insane to us. I think there's some sort of like formula that they use like if the weather is below this temperature for this amount of days, the heat gets turned on. But I am excited to live in an apartment like this because then I don't have to feel guilty about turning my heating on. I don't have to think about like, oh my gosh, like if I turn the heating on right now, it's gonna cost a lot of money. So I'm just gonna like suffer in my apartment. <laughs> which is like what we do at the beginning of winter this year. We were just like, we're just gonna suffer until it's unbearable and then we'll turn our heaters on. So yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's definitely different though. Like I don't think I would be having the heat so hot in here right now, which is I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and shorts in my apartment, but it's it's really nice. <laughs> definitely, I, I'm not sure in the summer if this apartment is going to be really hot or if it'll be pretty easy to keep it cool, I'm kind of scared of that because in America, we keep our homes pretty cold. In Europe in general, European people are very serious about opening the windows for a few minutes every day. In America, obviously this depends on where you live. There are places in America that don't have air conditioning, but in Texas, a lot of people never open their windows. And I think European people are like, you need airflow, but we have central AC and central heating. So central AC and heating is like constantly blowing air into your apartment and like circulating the air. So like we are getting airflow like that. You know, we have ceiling fans and stuff like that. So that's giving airflow. For me, opening your window is nice, but it's not giving you like air. Like it's not blowing air on you. Like me and Alex, we sleep with our fan on, like even in the winter, like we sleep with the fan on and blowing because like we're so used to having that airflow. But yeah, people in America don't really open their windows like you know, religiously. They don't open their windows every day. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's really interesting. So yeah, I just can't stand to have my house be hot. I am teaching this student and then it's my birthday weekend. I'm so excited. This is my last class and then I have Friday, Saturday and Sunday off. I talk too much on these videos and then I have to edit it. I got all my bathroom stuff. So at our last apartment, we had our bathroom stuff like in our toiletry bags that whole time. Look how cute the, I can't stand far enough back. This is so pretty. Alex picked this out. It's a little bit long. Not really sure what we're going to do about that. I'm wondering though if this bathroom used to not have a sink or if it used to be like one of those old ones where like the sink part can like swivel over here. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you're from Lithuania. <laughs> so yeah, making progress. Okay, 
Okay, so we uh, we just need to finish up the bathroom a little bit, put away the tech stuff, and then it's just like mainly the kitchen. Like that's all that's left, really. Y'all, these are so good. Bagels with like a hint of donut. Like they're sweet bread bagels, but they're so good. These are from Beer Street Long. today which that just sounds so old to me <laughs> and right now we're getting ready to go to the store so we actually have a few orders that we need to pick up we are picking up some more things at Snooke which is basically like Walmart Home Depot type of store and then Fun thing, we are going to the pet store. We're gonna get a new cat tower. We just finished eating breakfast and Alex made cinnamon rolls from scratch because I told him last night that's what I wanted to have for my birthday. And I told y'all we would be taking full advantage of the fact that we have an oven now. And they were so good. I had like two and a half big cinnamon rolls because they were so good. Um, I also, I talked to my parents this morning. I, you know, showed them the new apartment and everything. We don't really have many plans today. Doesn't matter where we are, cold or warm, so far we're good. 